if I hadn't had the Kelly work ethic swatted into me. <laughs> Yo, Craig, want to hear the sound of three old dudes sweating? was really ticked at me for not listening to her. At least I think that's what she said. Hey, how long has this thing been on? Excellent. If I watch the playback, when I see Sandy tomorrow, I can act like I was paying attention. And another thing you do that makes me mad, Ian. Think I'll rewind before this part. And I keep thinking about growing my hair up. The magazines say it'll accent my cheekbones, but what if it looks really stringy, you know? <sighs> Oh, in my locker, it has this funny smell like I left cheese in there or something, but I don't eat cheese because it makes my stomach look. Would you actually think someone would go around putting cheese in other people's lockers? Oh, no, you're right. That's crazy. Yo, dweeb, what are you watching? Nothing you'd be interested in, double dweeb. Well, for your information, you're wrong. Whatever's more than double dweeb. Whoever was on that website was talking about the same teen troubles I have. Really? Yes, I suffer from the shame of smelly locker syndrome. And I've been thinking about changing my hairstyle, too. Ah! Not accenting the cheekbones thing is a very useful and timely tip. Gee, if Corey was interested in what Sandy had to say, maybe other kids would be, too. I could put it on my website, www.beingian.com, and call it Every Kid 13. 
Yes, Jerry. It is a heavy responsibility creating the most relevant webisodes in the history of the internet. I guess it was just something I was born to do. Fascinating. So, how does your best friend Sandy feel about you sharing all her innermost private confessions with the entire world? Well, um, she doesn't exactly know yet. Really? You didn't get her permission before recording her? <laughs> well, uh, see, I, I just sort of happened to have my camera on by accident. What a coincidence, because we just happened to have Sandy backstage. And we have cameras. Now we just need an accident. <laughs> Definitely need to run this whole webisode idea by her. But first, I need some girl bribes. Mm. Uh, I wish I'd listen to her so I know what she likes. And all the other kids would be listening to my most private thoughts, fears, and dreams? Ah, uh, sorta. Awesome! I'm gonna be a web celebrity! So you cool with it? Duh! Three weeks ago, I told you that one of my life's goals was to become a spokesmodel. Yeah, right. Totally remember that now. Uh-huh. Then who's all that dorky, girly stuff for? This? Um, uh, hi! Happy birthday or whatever, dude! Oh, thanks, E. How's he know I have a soft spot for stuffed blue cows? Did that good-for-nothing Kyle skulk by here looking for a hideout? Did you check in the laundry hamper? Oh! Oh, nothing could live in there but mold and mildew. Oh, no kidding! Oh, it smells worse than your mother's haggis! Mildew? Haggish? Oh, sounds like lunchtime to me! Oh, oh. Um, think we'll lunch at home today. Keep an eye on the shop on bald. As long as we're heading out, Vic, how's about grabbing a box? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Old people are so funny, thinking they can shred their old age away. Hot your flotch! Grandma's! It's a miracle! Our sauna turns the old into young! Oddbold, we have talked about eating mantled lunch meat. No! This is not one of my pork-induced visions! Truly, it's the sauna of youth! Oh. 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 A supernatural steam room? I'm in the mood for a miracle switch. Is the magic sauna available at group rates? Kelly Sauna of Youth is officially open for business! Watching too much TV, but reading books is okay? Hello, you're just watching words. We need to make room for the unsold pianos and such, Ian, and we can't store your old videotapes anymore. <sighs> hmm, thanks. Now they're taking up all my pacing space. Oh. Well, now you can pace them right down to the trash can, fresh mouth. But I can't throw these out. Um, don't push this one, son. Your mom's been giving me quite the earful since I shanghaied her into lugging your video hooey home. Hooey? This happens to be the seminal work of a cinematic wonderkind. <laughs> a cinematic wonderkind who can easily transfer all these precious tapes to his hard drive before dumping them in the trash can. <laughs> Well, I guess every kid 13 will have to wait. Ian Kelly, the early years is too important to be lost in the dustpan of history. How many hours of this doggy drivel did I shoot? <sighs> Think I could let the computer handle the transfer by itself? Just... <sighs> Me... <laughs> so as 
soon as I woke up, I checked your website, but every kid 13 wasn't on there yet. Was there something wrong with my hair? Something weird in my teeth. Sandy, chill. I put it online just before I left for school. Oh, I just hope everybody likes it. How many people do you think will watch it? I don't know. Just promise you won't go all wedgy on me if every kid 13 takes a while to catch on. So when does a boyfriend become a boyfriend? Do you have to actually kiss, or does it count if you just think about kissing? How many times have I wondered exactly the same thing in several languages, including binary? Ian, I'm a hit! So, you guys like the new addition to my website, huh? Every kid 13 is sweet, relevant, and differently funny, Ian. I keep thinking about growing my hair out. Chopin! Sometimes I just wish I could look more, you know, feminine. <laughs> but how did I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was here first! Calm down, you rowdies, before you break a hip! You're not young yet. <laughs> oh, bold! Fetch me my crowd control, Ken! Oh, bold! The next time they see Oddbold, he will be young and smooth and ready to resume his underpants modeling career. Hey, my homies, who's up for buying a computer and trying to figure out how to turn it on? Woo! Yo, it's Grandpa. Me and my peeps are about to party your inheritance away. Haka! I don't know, Mom. This whole sauna of youth scheme just feels wrong. There's nothing wrong with making old people feel young. <laughs> or making us feel rich! Oh, oh, they'd probably just waste it on orthopedic shoes. Sometimes I imagine myself as a brain surgeon or a ballerina. Maybe this sounds a little all that, but sometimes I even dream I'm the Prime Minister of Canada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this webisode is more bent than the last one. Did you hear that? We're bent! And all it took was me mixing up your audio with Chopin's home movies. Talk about happy accidents. Your noggin's about to accidentally meet my noggin and fist. Uh, something wrong? Only everything! This is nothing like you promised. You have a dog telling everybody my innermost thoughts and feelings. They're all laughing at me. Do you have any idea how that... <laughs> You're not even listening to me! Yeah, of course I'm listening. We're all listening. Those are still your words, Sandy. And I'm a hit. I mean, you're a hit because your words are so important. <laughs> well, I guess. And your words mean something to people. Young people who are going through the same stuff you're going through. Oh, well, I suppose if I can save one other kid from a bad hair day. Hey, everybody! <laughs> the dog from Every Kid 13 is in the house! Say something in your dog voice! Yeah, tell the sticky locker story. Do that thing where you chase your tail until you fall over. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Everybody just leave me alone! <laughs> wow! I just did a backflip! Uh, it's funnier when she's a dog. Go ahead, Ty. Tell Sandy what you just told me. Great last webisode, Sandy. I am so down with what you were saying about popularity and stuff. Really? Aw, oh, thanks, Ty. It's nice to know somebody's actually listening. <laughs> Sorry. It's just that whenever you talk, I see Shelfin scooching around on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Price of being a cyber celebrity. <laughs> okay, people, settle down and get out your homework. Sandy, did you bring yours? Or did you eat it? <laughs> 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 Ian, if you think you can apologize by playing some sappy song about friendship, you can just forget it. Actually, I was hoping to tape some new stuff for Every Kid 13. See, I found some footage of Chopin chasing the mailman, and I figured you could give some of that special <gasps> Sandy Teen <laughs> anger. Maybe, maybe too angry. Sandy, I really am sorry. All this web success sort of made me forget about your feelings. I'll say. 
I guess I've been a terrible friend, but my website became so popular and... Can you ever forgive me? I don't know. Do you have any idea what it's like to have your feelings turn into a big joke? I mean, it's hard enough being a teenager... <laughs> This you hurt my feeling stuff is the bomb! What are you waiting for? Press the record button! Nuh uh uh. Secretly taping your best friend is a slippery slope that can only lead to one thing. <laughs> exactly! World Wide Web success! Well, this is probably the most sensitive time of our lives. I mean, I don't know about you, but it's like every day I have stronger, deeper feelings of. <laughs> Too boring. Too drooly. You've been there, done that. Too perfect to resist. In fact, I am so filled with feelings, I can't wait to let them out. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> any of you guys seen Sandy this morning? <laughs> huh? She's on the chest of every kid with a computer and a sense of humor. <laughs> Inspired, E. Sandy tinkling on the flowers is an instant web jam. Whoa, Ty, that wasn't Sandy. That was Chopin with Sandy's, you know, feelings. Her feelings is what makes it so funny. Oh, I really crossed the line. I better find her and try to explain. Sandy, hi. Uh, so I'm guessing you're a little ticked at how I used your words. My bad. But according to the fan base, it was our best webisode yet. Yes, it was, which is why I am never speaking to you again. Sandy, wait, you don't mean that. Look, I'll even show you how sorry I am. <laughs> Apology not accepted? Ouch! Check it! MH13! My grandson downloaded the latest webisode for me! Hit talking dog is deaf! Mm. How's that? I'm partially deaf! Who'd have thought this phony steam scheme would be such a hit? Uh, yeah, there's a sucker born every minute! Uh, most of ours were born 80 years ago! Word! Yeah. I hope you mothers are happy! The geriatric gangsters have taken over my keyboard store! I don't want her! You can have her! She's too fat for me! And that's fat with a PH! Yo! Gnarly old folks getting down with it? Oh, I so need to hide in my quiet place! Don't go in there, Kyle! The seniors have started flashing their surgical scars! Promise I'll never get old, Mommy. Come on, Sandy. I promise I'll never secretly record you again. Please stop ignoring me. I've said I'm sorry. What else could you possibly want from me? And then it hit me. The only right thing to do was erase Sandy's voice from all the webisodes. Not to worry, Chopin. Every Kid 13 will keep going just as soon as we find another teen willing to spill their guts. <laughs> well, you spill yours. Ty, are we about ready to start the casting session? Yeah, why not? Everybody who wants to audition is waiting upstairs. That's it? Grace Lum is our talent pool? Guess no one else wants to be the buddy of Saba Joe. But Girlfriend there is so desperate to prove she has a sense of humor, she's willing to be humiliated. Shall I sit on my rubber cushion? Uh, <laughs> maybe later. Uh, how, how about you just talk about your innermost feelings? I feel... That negative three plus or minus the square root of three squared is equal this to is the of the... There is no every kid 13 without Sandy. I don't know anyone who can talk teen like her. That is, when she was talking to me. Maybe you should tell her exactly that. Girls fall for that kind of stuff. You know, making them feel special. Hmm. Okay, that's it. I'm out of feelings. So this will be the last webisode of Every Kid 13, because Sandy's friendship is worth way more than fame, fortune, and computer geek envy. Peace out. Truly heartfelt and kind of nauseating. 
You may have just struck girl gold, my man. Only way to find out is to upload it and let the noogies fall where they may. Crowd safe and get off the table, sis! Incoming! Yay! My back! Oh, dear! Our mosh pit's fallen and they can't get up! Oddball, geezer clean up on aisle three! Be there in the gym! Oddball? It is I, to the Haitian Deshauna of youth, have rejuvenated Oddball. No? No, you look like death left out in the rain. Afraid she's right. <laughs> Raisin City. Mental Luke! The sun is must have blown a fuse. I am only 33. The young babe was right. The sun was a sham. Young babe? <laughs> Someone's getting a full refund. Look at us. We're just a bunch of old fools in stupid clothes. Time to pull my knitches back up to my chest where they belong. Yes, we have to give the gullible coots their money back, huh? And double the price of prune smoothies. Who wants to bust a movement? Ian, there's absolutely no excuse for tardiness. Uh, sorry, Mr. Greeble. I just finished editing a very special webisode of Every Kid 13. Except that one. Not break! Please, Sandy, take a look. I think it's time you heard how I really feel. I don't get it. A talking dog is funny. A barking Ian is just dumb. Yeah. yeah. No, wait! This is all a mistake! I was in such a hurry to get this online, I must have accidentally switched audio tracks. It's not supposed to be funny. Said the web wonderkind who took a comic risk and came up empty. <laughs> no, really. I made this heartfelt apology to Sandy, and and I talked about our friendship. And it was super sappy. Sir, can we talk about quadratic polynomials some more? Yeah, anything but this lowbrow drivel. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. You really messed up, net nerd. You're talking to me again? Only to point out what a total doofus you are. Input in, output out. Duh! And another thing, if you insist on filming your goonie mug, how about you get some new frames for your glasses and let's talk about your hair? 